where are the revisions based on foreign exchange alone? And then that's just reality. We've got yeah. to adjust to that. How are we meant to adjust to that? So I'd say a couple of things. First of all, the last quarter, a lot of the earnings and it had come through. When you break it down, you saw units down, but you saw revenue in a pretty good spot because you were getting pricing power. What's starting to happen is you're getting the, the, the inability to pass through price. And that's where I think, and there's a lag to that. And I think you'll start to see that over the coming quarters. So I think the earnings in some areas will still be durably high when you break down places that you're still getting, certainly we talked about energy and other places, you know, where you can pass it through. But listen, I think there's a transition taking place. There's a real lag of, gosh, I got my revenues are good, and then, but my units are declining. It's certainly the rate of growth, if not actual descent. Yeah. And now it's, well, I can't get that pricing growth, so you're going to see some, some reduction. So listen, I think the earnings estimates out there are too high. And part of why I think equities are just okay. I think those have to come down. And, and I think you'll see that over, over subsequent quarters. But I think it'll be more erratic than people think. I think there'll be more dispersion because there's still companies. We see a lot of them, manufacturing companies we talk with. They're not seeing their backlog is still durable. Yep. So I think it's more dispersion than it is a, a, a sheer devastation of earnings. I think they're down, but not that bad.